Hi, I'm Grateful Ted. Thanks for being here because you know what? I really appreciate it. And today we're in the town of Sisters, Oregon. It's about 25 miles or so from my house. And in case you didn't know, uh, or you haven't figured it out, the, the town of Sisters is named after these guys. Yes, the the sisters are, the three sisters are those mountains back there. And locals don't really call them the three sisters. We call them North Sister, South Sister, Middle Sister. You can see the North Sister, it's the one on the right. You can barely see Middle Sister's Peak just behind North Sisters, and then obviously South Sisters is there. And then off to the left is uh, Broken Top. And South Sister, despite what it may look like on camera, is the, the tallest of the three sisters. And it's climbed a lot. A lot of people climb that mountain. I'm not because I'm, you know, in my mid 70s and I don't have my balance, but we're going to go around the town of Sisters. It's quite interesting, quite uh, beautiful in many ways. I'm going to show you some of the art, some of the buildings around. One of the interesting things about Sisters is that um, sometime in the, I think around 1970, the story goes, there's a resort off about 10, 15 minutes from here called Black Butte Ranch. And the guys who developed that didn't want an, an overwhelming group of tourists to come in. So they convinced the town of Sisters to go Old West. And as you'll see, um, a lot of the town is uh, got a Western theme and it's been that way since about 1970. It's, uh, it's interesting because um, some of the places that have multiple, uh, multiple units like McDonald's, one that comes to mind for me is Les Schwab Tires. It's a big tire center here in Oregon, and it was started here in Central Oregon. But they all look alike except here in Sisters because the, the town ordinance is you have to look like you're from the Old West. So it's interesting to see the Sisters Les Schwab Tire Center and compare it to all the other Les Schwab Tire Centers. So come on, let's go, let's have a good time. And you're gonna see some really pretty town. And then at the end, we're going to a different place close by that's even more beautiful. So stick around to the end. Also, if you wanna help support the channel, right underneath the video is an icon that says thanks. And you can donate a tip or you can buy me a coffee if that's what you'd rather do, but uh, uh, help support the channel, okay? So come on, let's go see Sisters. There are a lot of art galleries here in Sisters and we'll be seeing some of the, the art that's outside many of these galleries.
other great activities in the fall. I think it's either Labor Day weekend or close to Labor Day weekend. They hold the Sisters Folk Festival, although it should be called the Sisters Folk and Blues Festival because they've got a lot of blues entertainers. Um, I've seen Chris Smithers there who wrote a lot of Bonnie Raitt stuff. I've seen uh, Todd Snyder there. Also, um, it's where I discovered a band that became friends with me for a little while, the California Honey Drops. Even though it's a small town, you can still get tired walking around and there are plenty of places all over town for you to have a sit, talk, view what's going on, sit and be in the shade, maybe look at the stream. There are two or three places that are really well known around Sisters, both by tourists and the locals. And the Sisters Saloon and Ranch Grill is one of those places. It's a premier place. I think used to be a hotel up above there, but I don't know if it is anymore. I, I kind of doubt it. They probably have banquet rooms and things up there. I was just informed that this is SAS. You know, short for Sasquatch. You can't be in a western town without a western store. Another place well loved by everybody, tourists and locals, is the Sisters Bakery. Even though I live in Redmond and it's got somewhere in the neighborhood of 37,000 people and here in Sisters they have one-tenth that amount, about a little over 3,000. This is my doctor's office and here's where I come for all my medical stuff and when I see him, his name is also Ted. So. Our medical things are actually TED Talks. The third place that is a must here in Sisters is the Snowcap Drive-In at the west end of town. You can see that they make their own ice cream up there. It's homemade. They do old fashioned burgers. And I highly, highly recommend the Marion Berry milkshake. You will never regret it. So that's Sisters Proper. And uh, we're not done yet, so don't go anywhere. Uh, but we're done in Sisters. But I want to take you about 10 miles down the road to a place that's totally gorgeous, great place to visit if you're ever in the Sisters area. It's called Camp Sherman. Come on, let's go look at Camp Sherman. So around in the late 1800s, early 1900s, farmers from on both sides of the Cascades would finish up their, with their harvest and then they'd come up over here and depending on where their farm was, they would go camp at different places. For instance, there was a Camp Polk 
from farmers in Polk County. And there was a Camp Jefferson from farmers in Jefferson County. And right in this area, this is Camp Sherman, where the campers, the, the farmers from, from Sherman County would come after the end of the harvest. They'd come up here and camp. They'd kick back, they'd relax, probably do some deer hunting, um, get them ready for the winter months. But also what's uh, interesting here is the Metolius River, and we're gonna go to the head of the Metolius, okay? Let's go look at that. So the walk from the parking lot to the head of the Metolius is about five minutes, and it's paved the whole way. It's really easy, really easy. It's rather difficult to see, but there, coming out of the side, right underneath that big uh, bush or tree or whatever it is there, the river, Metolius River, comes right out of the side of that hill there. It's a little disappointing. I can't really show you the water coming out of the side of the hill. I've been up here lots of times. Um, when the brush is gone, early spring, late winter, I mean late fall, and you can just see it come right out of the side of the hill. But you can't now because it's the middle of summer and everything's growing. And the squirrels and chipmunks and deer are grateful for everything growing. So here we are at Camp Sherman and it's one of my favorite areas in Oregon, flat out. I like it here a lot. I think if you come you, to see it, you'll, you'll know why that is. It's just gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's cool when it's hot, it's warm enough when it's cooler out. And um, of all of the, the um, camps that the old agricultural, agriculturalists used to, to make, Camp Sherman's the only one that actually, that I know of, became a community. Uh, there's a store here. You might be able to see that behind me there. There's a, an, a permanent RV campground. There are tourist tent campgrounds and tourist trailer campgrounds. There's uh, elementary school here, uh, but there's not a whole lot of folks. So uh, the, once the kids graduate from elementary school, they, they go to high school, maybe even middle school, uh, down in Sisters. But it's a beautiful place. Let's take a look around. You'll see what I mean. You can regularly see trout, bull trout, up in this river at certain times of the year.
so that's this week's vlog. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Uh, I could always use subscribers. Also, remember that you can help support the channel by leaving a tip or, you know, put in enough to buy me a cup of coffee, whatever your desire is. I can always use your assistance and I'll be eternally grateful. I'll be gratefully dedicated if you're gratefully dedicated. So thanks a lot. And we've got something really special next week. I mean, really special. So don't miss it. And we'll see you next week.